Hello. Give me one moment. Of course. There, there it goes. All right. Hi. Welcome, raiders. Orc, thank you so much for that raid. I'm just, I was just getting myself situated. Looks like my resolution's off. I didn't have time to do a test stream. Oh, thank you, Lou. I, I was like, we need some gothy blue vamp vibes for Subnautica. Um, now let's take a look. Let's fix this, uh, this, um, this stream. Oh, thank you, uh, Shadow. Thank you so much for the follow. Do you prefer Shadow or Rose? Let me know. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. Let's game capture. Let's just go ahead and resize this. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I don't know where my camera should be. I always leave it in the top and then just, like, never touch it. So let me know if the, um, if the volume is good. Uh, as always, if there's any problems, definitely let me know. Um, the penguins are so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Ork. I appreciate it. I, um, have been weird, weird day. Lots of, like, I went on, I went to brunch. That was really exciting. I haven't gone to brunch in a really long time, like, with friends. Like, not wearing my mask at the restaurant felt weird. I, I like, felt kind of, like, dirty. I was like, this is wrong. I'm not wearing a mask outdoors. I don't know. It's weird. You guys mainly bottom, uh, in bottom left corner. All right, cool. I'm gonna roll with it. I'm also gonna be playing on keyboard and mouse, and I usually stream on a controller. Um, I usually play games with keyboard and mouse, but controller is easier, like, because my mic is directly in front of my keyboard, so I kind of have to reach around it. So I'm gonna try this. I'm like really excited to dive in. I adored the first game. It's one of my favorite games. So this game has been like on the top of my like to-do list for a while, but I don't like playing games in early access because I tend to tire of them before all the content is even, even finished. So, yep. Oh, this music's such a jam, though. Mm. Like, my timer ran out, and I was just, like, uh, just enjoying the music while I was, like, getting stuff with Discord ready and everything, and I was just like, oh, wait, oh, shit. <laughs> I gotta switch over. It's so cute! It's so cute. Um, it's super, super cute. We're definitely gonna do survival. Um, I don't want to do hardcore. That's, that's too much. Uh... Let's just get going. Let's just let's dive in. We got we got some cats. We got one cat. Just hanging out. She might come over and say hi. Harvey is sleeping in his tower over here. Being very cute. I don't know anything about this game. Um, I've seen a trailer, and that's all I know. Um Actually that's not true. I watched a tiny bit, like maybe the first ten minutes of early access uh, when it first came out. So I'm sure a lot has changed since then. Before it was like, they were very well advertising that the game was like, not not even complete. And there were like parts of the worlds that in the very beginning that like weren't even like filled in yet. They completely altered the story, cool. Gotcha. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna learn as we go. I'm very excited. I, the little penguin loading bar? Little loading bar at the bottom? That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just noticed that. Not me. How are you guys doing? Uh, Orc, I'm sorry about Lost Ember and that I couldn't warn you, but I didn't want to spoil anything. Uh, oh my god, it fell over. It fell over. Did you see that? That's so cute. <laughs> Fuck. I can't. Um, yeah, Lost Ember, oh man. Press any button to continue, okay. It begins. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me, and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. A 
approaching 4546 feet. Surface temperature is high. Drop flight deployed. I was seeing that to our uh, work, but I couldn't pause. That's going to be the first thing we swap is we're going to turn down the game a little bit. We'll try that. Uh, but what a jam, though. Okay, cool. All right. First impressions. I'm already going to be listening to the soundtrack a lot when I'm not playing. Enjoy your stay. The game's probably still a little bit loud. Enjoy your stay. Uh, let's go a little bit lower. There we go. Maybe. Man, I know I'm supposed to be running, but this is good for the audio balancing. I think it's still a smidge loud. All right, that should be good. Let me know if it is uh, too quiet or too loud or whatever, you know, you know the drill. This looks like food. Yeah, nutrient block. All right, cool. I'm also getting a little bit of that that line. This is the best part of any stream, right? You gotta gotta get all the uh, the audio balancing and the graphics all looking nice. Let's see. Graphics. Here we go. Uh, da 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 da. Bloom, lens drift, motion blur. I don't want to drop any of this down, but I guess I could. Prof so super professional. Yeah. Uh, uh. Let's. I don't, like, want... Let's just see if that... No, that didn't really change anything. Okay, okay. Will you let me... Oh, oh, it's thinking. It's thinking. Hold. How's everybody doing? We've had weird weather here today. Speaking of water, it's been, like, threatening to thunderstorm all day, but not doing it. Man, this has taken its sweet time. Game, please. No! Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it requires a restart? What? What are you joking? This is what I get for not testing the game first. This doesn't even look better. Maybe I'll just leave it how it was. What did I have for brunch? I had French toast. It was very good. Yeah, motion blur might be doing it. Although on low, it was even still um, stuttering a little. We could try off. Oh, that's that is a little better. It's a little better. It still feels choppy. I think we're gonna do medium. Fuck it. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna- it looks fine to me. If it looks annoying, let me know. Oh. Hi. Holy smokes. That 
did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Yeah, I think it looks fine. I, I might mess with it a little bit off stream if it's if the stuttering like continues. It's man, it, it it really does look stuttery. This is what I get for not doing a test stream. Does this just go back to where I was? It sure does. Excuse me. Oh, ow! Yeah, see that load in is a little distracting. You know what? All right. Sorry guys, I know that this is the uh, what you what you're all totally signing up for, but I'm going to drop down to medium. I'm going to restart the game and we'll just go from there. It's fine. I've got time. I want to play the game right. I want to play the game where it looks good. And, uh, I don't know, not a big deal. Yeah. Need to get this game? Yeah. I kind of regret not buying it in early access and then just playing it later just because the price went up. But also, um, but also, um, might as well pull this up. Well, I'm restarting it. Uh, so the Subnautica devs 100% deserve every every cent that they make on their games. Um, I got a I got a card for uh, launching the game. It's funny for for the first time. Oh, also, warning: this uh, game contains flashing lights that may be. Uh, dangerous to people, uh, epileptic photosensitivity. FYI. Alright, we can move back over. We're gonna have to watch that opening sequence again. Give it, there we go. And watch this adorable penguin one more time! Look at him! Uh, what do you think his name is? It's like... It's like Tony. Favorite non-horror horror game? Yeah, I so I've been thinking about that a lot lately of games that are not advertised as horror games that I found to be have have strong horror elements. Um Subnautica being another or not Subnautica, um uh Outer Wilds being another one. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh yeah, we got a new question of the day. Um, I I went like two or three streams without updating it, eight, with it, forgetting to update it, but no one redeemed it, so I was like, whoo! <laughs> Didn't have to go and fix it on the fly. All right, the here we take go. You on company space take box, two. Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. We need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. I'm excited to hear the rest of that Up track. Forty five, forty six feet. Surface temperature is high. Drop point deployed. in the game. A jeep box in the game sounds really cool. That that excites me. Welcome to 4546 feet. 
All right, how was the music on that go around? Was that better? I'll grab our nutrient block. I'm gonna get out of here. This looks much better. This feels much better. It seemed Holy to work. Smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. No, it has a song by your favorite artist. Ooh, that's cool. Um, something else I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, uh, with the sh in w when the shuttle was crashing, they made it very apparent that our um, our main protagonist here, our main character, is um, both a person of color and a woman. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so fucking pretty. Oh my god, really? I'm still getting a little bit of this anti-aliasing thing. This, like... I'm gonna have to just, uh... Mess with it a little. But these colors! Peepers! Penguins! Penguin! 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 Hey! 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 You're so cute! Oxygen. Oh, alright. We're gonna have plenty of time to explore all this. I'm gonna try one more thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's just, like, the little bit of line, like, going across the screen when it's loading. That might be better. And I use up all my air. Water with icebergs in it is somehow more terrifying for you. Um, but this is fine so far. Yeah, I'm like, I'm worried about, like, big glaciers coming up at some point where I, um, am, like, at risk of being crushed. That's, that's my concern. Empty! Whoops. Dad? Okay. I have to remember all the controls. It's been a while since I played the first game. Fabricator. Standard O2 tank, so we're gonna need some fiber mesh. Oh, this is kind of this is kind of cool. I'm glad that the recipes look like they're gonna be the same. The ice shelves for sure. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm glad that we're not gonna have to relearn a whole bunch of recipes. Supply cash hey, 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 little guy. I like that you just grab him by the throat. New blueprints. Synthesized. <laughs> New blueprints. I need a scanner. What's this? Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Oh, maybe the recipes are going to be different. That sounds like something I'll need for a battery. Come on, up, up, up. Oxygen. I can't wait to get some slippers. Flippers. Slippers? Flippers. Shrooms. I need a knife to get those, probably. This looks like it belongs to something that's alive, and that frightens me. Kind of looking around and trying to see if we've got any ore that I can break open. Ooh, here we go. Should be able to use this. Copper! Oxygen. Oh, I need an air tank so bad. The pod is quite small versus the first game. Yeah, I noticed that also. Like, you you only have, like, the one little storage thing. I'm gonna eat New you later. Discovered. Come here. Got some quartz. The, uh, the new voice, the new, uh, 
I don't know, computer voice is um, different. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Let's go check what else we need. Um, Oxygen. Oh my god. I should have checked specifically what I need for the O2 tank first, but I thought like, eh, we'll just go and fill up the whole inventory. I'm gonna want you, come here, come here. Yeah, gotcha. There it is. Let's go back in. This is so slow. I need fins. Personal logs. Yeah, there's no radio in here. Okay, battery and a wa some wire. Get some water. Get some cooked food. Oh, I should have done the other one. Nah, eh, whatever. Get a battery. Scanner. All right, I have a scanner. All right, we need fiber mesh, which we get from kelp. Yeah, the ribbon plants replace acid mushrooms. Yeah, and more silicone rubber. Um, I guess I'll probably cook this other fish too because we're probably going to need to eat both of them. Alright. Oh, this is so nice. I love that it shows the charge. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Alright, cool. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. I keep hitting escape instead of tab to close the menus. Oh, shelf coral. Table coral, maybe? Has anyone in chat not played the first game? The first Subnautica? Oh, I also lowered all of my points across the Oxygen. board um, for all of my channel point redemptions. So, I because I wanted things that people could like spend their accumulated points on, but I also uh, know when I'm in other people's channels that I'm reluctant to spend them when things are expensive uh, because I want to like hold on to it for the right moment. Where instead, I'd want people to feel like they can use their channel points. Um, oh, there's some pink bladder fish, too. Oxygen. You swim faster with empty hands? Maybe. I'm kind of scanning everything, though. What are you? You're cool looking. Probably gonna need some salt. Here's our kelp. Creep vine. Cool. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Your blueprint synthesized. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that should be enough to get us. Some, yeah, lubricant. But that's we still need to like get a knife so that we can pick the pick the things. All right. C 
see glide fragment. That's interesting that we're still going to be looking for fragments, even though, like, there wasn't a big, um, uh, shipwreck, like, on the... Uh, maybe there was in the... compared to the first game, and I just haven't looked around yet. Oxygen. New creature discovered. I'm definitely going to farm these bladder fish into extinction. Okay. This creep vine is yellow. Yeah, I wonder how they're different. I'm very curious. I don't need it yet, but I will. Uh, perfect. Alright, so we can make the silicone rubber. Good. Fins. Fiber mesh and titanium. Oh, hey, Ellie. Jumped up right next to me. Fiber mesh. Let's, all right, let's take a look at our logs. Fiber mesh. Creep vine sample. Okay. Copper and a wiring kit. Okay. Data bank. So one thing I want to be a little bit better about on this run compared to the first time I played the, you know, the base Subnautica is that I didn't read very much of these. And s there's just so many. Oh my god, there's so many logs. Okay. The, uh, the future of Xeno work. From Jack. Hey there, Xeno workers. I know there's been lots of rumors circulating, so I just want to clear some stuff up. In the spirit of openness and transparency, which you know means a lot to us to us all here. First of all, no, Altera did not buy us. We're still Xeno work. We're not uh, going to move offices or start having some kind of hierarchical structure or even like making you show up on site or anything like that. Although you should for the snacks alone. We're still the scrappy, agile, research first startup you all signed on to. So what does this controlling stake stuff mean? Well, I guess the most direct way to put it is it means more, more equipment, more research, more at risk, more experimentation, more of everything that makes us great. And most of all, more cash for you and your research. And yes, snacks. Lena will be in touch pretty soon about exchanging your old Gen Xenoworks PDAs for snazzy new Altera upgrades and to help you get comfy with some really minor policy changes that are going to help us keep everything running nice and smooth going forward. So yeah, congratulations everyone. We did this together and now we're going to be able to do so much more. Cheers. Sorry about your sister. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as pacemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Cool. I like the little, I like the voice logs. The voice logs are nice, but yeah, I, the first time I played the game, the the first Subnautica, uh, this world is basically run by megacorps. Sounds like. Gimme. Gimme. New uh. blueprint synthesized. Am I at least wearing my fins? I guess I should check. Yep, yeah, alright. Let's see what 
titanium. The first time I played Subnautica, I skipped a lot of the logs. I keep trying to tell the story and then I get distracted. Um, and I got really confused about halfway through because I just like didn't know what to do Oxygen. because I just wasn't reading anything. Because that's just a bad habit of mine, so. I'm also realizing that if we go under like a big chunk of ice, we won't be able to surface, so I have to be really careful about that. I bet I can take some of these. Maybe not. Oxygen. Seems like Altera came back to this planet after the survivor of the first game left. Yeah, that's my hunch. I am gonna say that like guesses for the game, like if you don't know, totally fine. This is just, this isn't a reminder for you. This is a reminder for everybody. Um, but I uh, I wanna do really low back seating because this game is totally blind for me. Um, but, you know, usual conversation and guessing and all that's totally cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know, uh, not me. I know you said that earlier. That's why I, I said it's not not you, just as a general reminder. I'm going to say that a few times during the stream. Um, these things. Old creep find sample. I just got it. Uh, da, da, da. What was I doing? I was making this, so I need some fiber mesh. Yes, yes. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Cool. Um. Next, I, I really just need to find some sea glide fragments. Uh, this is just gonna rot. Uh, actually, I like having the knife on three, so that's fine. VIP breathing, yeah. That's so funny. Guess I'll grab some food while I'm out. Alright. Let's see if we can get some sea glide fragments. Oh, I feel so much faster now. Ooh, I haven't scanned this. Well, I guess I shouldn't feel faster. It's, I just have a longer oxygen time. Got more time. Oh. It's funny just like getting supplies and I don't even know what I need. What is this? Sea monkey? Oh, what? No! Some of the give it back! Life down here is very grabby. Give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back! I need that! Come on! Gimme! That's not fair! Jerk. Wow, alright. Nope, nope, you get out of here. Get out of here. It's like a different warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Monkeys, yeah. Rude sea monkeys. I 
I also think it's interesting that this game started on land. So, like, at some point, I'm going to want to go explore this. Oh, shit. That's what I need right there. Hell yeah. All right. See if there's anything else around here worth scanning. Motor vehicle bay. That's hype. Logs and communications. Sea monkey nest. Oh. Gotta make sure, like, I put my stuff away. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen okay, remaining. Okay. Yeah, carrying equipment. Yeah, I have to be really careful. You killed the first one that stole your scanner, like, with the knife? Can you kill them? <gasps> because you couldn't really kill anything in the first game. Yeah, I guess so. Well, they, like, made their nest out of the vehicle bay. Hey, Mongoose. How's your day going? I really want this sea glide. Let's go back and we'll go make it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You could technically kill everything in the first game, just not very effectively. Huh, I had no idea. I tried a couple times. They're like, um... Oxygen. It's going well. We just started. Uh, I launched the game and there was like a couple of like... Like the game just like wasn't running very smoothly, so I just like restarted. This is just gonna give us some titanium, but that's fine. We're gonna need it. Yeah, I, um, I can already tell I'm very excited to play this game for the next, like, six weeks. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to get through it all, especially if I'm only playing it on stream, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. Or, there we go. Battery, copper wire, lubricant. Yeah, there's no reward, you're right, so it's like, why even bother? Yay, we got our first... Our first, uh, the seat line vehicle. The is a personal transportation device used for high-speed free diving. Contains a built-in light and map. Okay, so we're just going to have to go look for more blueprints. Um, while we're here, let's check um, a couple more of these. Let's, let's go through some of these. Dear Miss Ayu, Ayu, I think, Ayu, on behalf of Zelta Landon, uh, 4546B Robotic Station Leader and Idra Cormac, President of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha uh, Au. She died on planet 4546B, regrettably as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. 
While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and uh, Re Recuper Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin with regards to our payment of damages and legal fees. You, uh, if you have any questions, you may file form YZ or Y7YSS, yada yada, and your query will be addressed in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel. Hey, Paladin, how are you doing? This sounds like some corpo speak. Sure does. Same message one. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers and nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, not bad. How am I? I'm doing quite well. Seems like they might even saddle you with damages or something. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Preacher egg. Where's my sulfur? Where's my sulfur at? I like the oxygen plant redesign. I think that's really cool. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It's interesting that everything is renamed even though it's kind of kind of the same. Even like the same design for like the shale outcrop. Like I'm always going to consider it shale. <laughs> I want to find more um, blueprints. Here we go. Grab trap. They might have different contract contents. Yeah, they they must right. There must be a couple of new minerals. I'm curious if we're gonna get another sea moth. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. How convenient. This is different because it's one use. I'm sure it replenishes after a while. Oh snap! All right, let's go up. Let's get some oxygen. Then we're going down there. Am I enjoying the game? I am. I loved the first Subnautica, so um, I, I'm going into this game with a lot of excitement and honestly high expectations, um, which I should probably level a little bit because I don't want to be disappointed um, if it doesn't completely live up to the first game, but... Oh, here's some table coral that I can take. Come here. That sounds like a distress call. Transmission of Ooh. unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. You love hated the first game. Uh, why? What? What did you? What did you like? And what did you dislike? I'm curious. I um. I know it's not a game for everybody, but I'm I'm definitely curious. Oxygen. All right. Hey, Loof. Welcome in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Oh, there's some oxygen right there. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Oh, there's some down here, too. I just didn't see it. 
Uh, yeah, this game is extremely difficult to play if you have any, um, any fear of the deep. Ooh, sea truck. The <laughs> sea truck. That's a sillier name than sea moth. Uh, I probably have enough table coral for right now. We'll replenish my oxygen. How is it going this evening? I'm doing quite well. I'm having a good day. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Look at this shit. That's amazing. Just taking it all in. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, that's bad. I don't know if I can get out in time. What's that? What? The, what's that squid thing? Oxygen. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget what my name is. Ooh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Hell yeah. Ooh, back down. This is cool as fuck. This is so fucking cool. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. But what's down here, though? Shit. Alright, I can't- I can't come here yet. I've gotta go back up a little. This is just too- too much. My curiosity is too strong! Probably gonna need more quartz. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That is gonna be the, uh, the theme. This way you get to watch Subnautica, um, uh, uh, more than playing it. Yeah. I know that it is not a game for everybody, that is for sure. Um, emergency supply cache. That's not where we came from. That's, that was the distress signal, right? We should go there next. I'm just so distracted with how cool this all looks. I'm gonna need some water and food for sure. We'll grab some fish. Come. Uh, let's see, I was missing some stuff in chat. Um, one oxygen plant might not be enough. Yeah. Yeah, one brain coral. You could just, like, sit over it and just, just drink it up. Yeah, in this game, they, they're they making you work a little harder. Uh, my favorite fish from the first game. You know, I really liked the, the little manta rays. I thought they were really cute. The manta rays, and then I liked the, uh, the, the, the white kind of wispy guys. I thought they were pretty. The Hoover fish were really cute. Uh, Paladin, how was your move, by the way? Are you feeling- are you getting settled? I've already filled up my whole inventory, of course. Uh... Let's see. Might as well get our water. The peepers! The peepers are cute. do this we'll load up let's load up the next voice log actually four five four six b to robin coming and robin <laughs> remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer this is kind of like that but it's even harder to communicate 
Well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xenoworking, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. I like that the game gives you some, uh... Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Stop it. There we go. All right, got him. Um, gives you those voice logs right at the start so that you kind of have something to listen to while you're just doing all your base crafting. That's that's nice. Hey, Robin. I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Mm -mm. Finally done with everything, so you're hoping to get back to normal in the next week? That's awesome. I'm, I am like... I am super happy for you and nervous about my own move eventually. But it'll it'll be so good once like all settled, like get your own space and like get it however you want it. That's something I'm thinking about a lot. I'm actually gonna throw on a uh, I've got all the windows open because it's really nice out today, but it's starting to get a little cold because it's getting late. Um I've been thinking about for my move, like what are the things that I'm gonna make sure that I have? And I want to get like a, a nice couch, I think is like top of my list, is I want like a good L couch that's like you can lay on it from like either direction and just super cozy. That is, that's, that's what I'm excited for. Um, it's great when it's over, but not when it's happening. Exactly. Oh, I thought it was at the door. Where's the door? Um, come here. <laughs> it's, that never gets old. Just looking at, just grabbing him by the throat. I'm never tired of that. Um, oh, and then I also made this, which I'm going to put on five. Couches are essential. Yeah. All right. Let's see. The emergency supply cache. Was this our, I think that's, yeah, we haven't been there. We haven't gone anywhere yet. We've just been exploring. Are there penguins up here? It's so cold. I'm very curious how the, uh, how the ocean is oh, warmer than the outside. 
Mineral detector fragment. That's new. PDA. Well, we'll get to those conversations eventually. Mineral detector. Blueprint synthesized. Blair. <laughs> Got some water. Hey, Jess. How are you? I'm doing great. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. This is my first time playing this game, and I am loving it so far. I mean, I haven't played that much of it, but I adore the first game, so it's exciting to me. Uh, we already have so much titanium, but probably even a bit warmer than that. If, yeah, it's got to be right. We're gonna find some lava at some point. That's a suspicious plant. Uh. Yeah, don't you don't don't you dare. Oh, motor vehicle bay fragment. Oh, cool. Didn't even notice that. I am hoping this has an exit. <laughs> I just kind of assumed that it would, and that was a poor assumption. Uh, doing all right. Uh, glad to see him enjoying it. It's so pretty, but you never got into playing it. Uh, yeah, the, the first game was very polar, I think. You either loved it or it wasn't your jam. Yeah, no thank you. I've seen Alien. It doesn't have a smiley face on it, so I'm not... I'm not, uh, not feeling it. Oh wait, that was a penguin. Penguin. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes. They're so cute. Oxygen. Uh Jess, what have you been playing lately? Which I didn't mean to be like a pun of your name, but here we are. This is not really a pun, it's just your name. <laughs> I'm sure you get that all the time, I'm so sorry. Just, just ignore me. I, that's interesting that breaking up these, say like, chance of copper Finished up Fallen Order. Nice. That's awesome. I haven't played Fallen Order, but I've, I've heard great things about it. I watched Allie play it. Um, so, let's see. What's what's next? Played some indie uh, FMV games. Cool. Oh, I keep, I keep doing this. I need to break this habit of hitting escape when I mean to open the inventory. Let's get to the next sequence. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. And I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Mm. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair wild right well anyway i'm sure you're mad at me after what i said but uh, i could really use a friend 
You're my sister. I love you. I'm Ooh. sorry. I forgive you. I forgive you already. It's the last one. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I feel bad. I feel really bad. I just want to call her and give her a hug. I will say that these uh these battery plants are a little less abundant than the uh acid shrooms. I might even grab a couple extra while I'm out. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. I'll check it out. Alright, there's a couple of those. That should hold this over. I need to stop picking things up. I'm running out of inventory and storage. Save it till it'll be there. If we need it later, it's not going anywhere. Hoarding is so easy to do in this game. Yeah, like the first time I played, I just like, I had entire like crates or, or like storage containers of every mineral. Didn't like, didn't matter what it was. I had an independent one for every single thing. Um, I definitely need all the things at all times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Battery, oh, and copper, okay. See, it's so convenient that I have all this copper right here. The disease uh, in one was called Kara, Kara, Kara. That was my, yeah. Uh, assumption as well. They said that there was a disease, but they didn't say that, like, it was the disease from the first game. I don't think it ever got a name in the first game. So that was, yeah, that was my guess as well. So, do we have a beacon for the distress call or anything? Minerals galore. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. 
Hey, Walter. I'm kind of proud of that, though. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Um, how's Below Zero treating me? It's good. It's good so far. Um, it's really hard to not just parallel everything to the first game, but, you know, that's just... That's how they set it up for me. That's how I'm going to be viewing it. That's that's the impression that I'm going to be working with. Um, but so far, they've changed a few things. They've added things. Um, so I'm into it. I'm into it. Yeah, same planet, so chances are high. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense that that they would have more information about the... Uh, the disease now. Altera misplaces one uh, kilometer uh, capital ship Aurora. Smith kilometer? The Independent. Galactic News. Intergalactic Perspective. Uh, contact has been lost with the Aurora some 18 months into its journey into uh, to install a phase gate into the Aria D arm. Sorry about all my mispronunciations. I'm, I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, Altera launched the Aurora to much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced the ship had arrived into the, in the destination solar system. Aurora has been reportedly now missing more than one routine check-in. Does this take place at the same time, I wonder, as the first game? Hmm... Be interesting. Be interesting. I assumed, probably incorrectly, that this was way in the future, but it might not be. Yeah, the Aurora is the ship in the first game. Yeah. As for, um, that's that's why I was making that connection was because the Aurora has been missing for eighteen months. You know, so this must be like before or during, um, when the Aurora didn't arrive at its destination. Uh, asked for comment, a spokesperson from Altera said communication with ships outside us out of the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. The Aurora was always in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. Uh, we have no reason to think anything has changed. Nonetheless, our sources emphasize that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact and given the uh, except exceptional value of the ship, and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to reestablish contact. Shareholders will be watching closely. Uh, I assume it's after the Aurora incident, since any other ships would have also been shot down, like the Aurora. Um, yes, but also... Uh, I, I think it's... I bet it's at the same time. I bet it's... I bet these games take place at the exact same time, because in the second game, or in the first game, you know, they're trying to do the recovery, and they know what happens, and you get those voice logs and everything, and here, like, they have no idea yet. Um, um, keen readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press, only for the TransGov to rebound with positive news against the odds. Directors, shareholders, and dealings are, of course, not public information. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. That's cool. Um, your sister was here on an Altera mission, but Altera doesn't know 
about the planet during the events of the first game. Um, yes. We, we don't know if this is the same planet or not. We assume it is. It could be that Altera knows more uh, than shows up in that log. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. And they did say that, like... Uh, that they keep things pretty hush-hush. Um, the recovery you try to do in the first game is of another ship that went missing on the planet a lot earlier. Is it? I thought it was the Aurora. Huh. Uh, four, five, six, four B is the same one. Okay. It is the same planet in the first game. Okay. All right. Well, we're, we're running with it. We're running with it. I'm sure everything will get a little bit more clear soon. I'm also not sure... I guess I just need to explore um, to find more blueprints. Because we want to get the motor vehicle base so we can get a, a sea truck. Which is hilarious to me. That is absolutely hysterical. And the sea and the uh, motor vehicle bays are occupied. Where'd it go? Oxygen. The Aurora is the ship you flew in on in the first game, coming to look for a different ship that had gone missing. No, the Aurora was what you were on when it crashed. I didn't, I don't remember the Aurora that, I don't remember going to that planet to look for another ship that had been lost, but that could have just been a bit of lore that I missed. The Aurora went to a planet to find a different ship that went missing a while before. Okay, so I think that's just a piece of lore that I didn't know. Um, that's where all the ruins of bases in the first game came from. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Learn something new every day. What is up up here? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I love them. I love them so much. Pangling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, you can have it back. I'm sorry. Drop it. Ugh, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. I thought I had scanned it. Okay. Angry, angry space penguins. Oh, the Delgasi. You're right. You're right. They would have had to have landed there earlier. Gotcha. Gotcha. I forgot about the Delgasi. It's been a while since I played the first game, I will admit. Um, so, let's go through some more, more logs. And like I said, I was kind I kind of skipped over some of the logs in the first game, which is why I'm, like, making sure to not do that this time. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. We definitely heard that one. Research. Oh, it doesn't have a picture. I was hoping it would have a little picture of it. Indigenous life forms. Table coral. Computer chips. Pangling! Young penglings tend to huddle on dry land awaiting their next meal. Consumption almost exclusively fish regurgitated by the adult of the huddle. 
They stay in the center of the huddle to stay warm and out of the wind. If separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for their young penglings. So please don't do this. <laughs> Assessment harmless. Oh, there's... Okay, and then penguin. What's that? Oh, it's weather. Oh, wow. It's it's thunder. It's actually just thunder. That's cool. Ah, uh, da, da da. They were survivors of the first ship crash that lived on the planet for a while and built bases at different spots. They got sick like you the first game and one of their bases was attacked by a leviathan or something. So they um they are assumed all dead by the time you arrive with the aurora. Got it. Yeah, cuz I I remember the exploring the Dugat sea bases and all that. Um, I think for some reason, it, I, I assumed in my mind that they were other um, survivors from the Aurora crash, and they just, like, had built all of the stuff in the time that I was, like, exploring and trying to find them. So the penguins. Bird-like creature. Hunts small fish below the water. Huddles in packs of, on the ice above consumes small prey fish and regurgitates them for its young. Retractable tail and claws allows for fast evasion of predators underwater and maximum grip on the ice. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak can tear chunks out of aggressors and prey alike. Huddles and packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Assessment less cuddly than they look. Oh, this thing. Symbiote. A small fast predator with uh, which nests inside the holes of titan holefish and and defends them at all costs. Uh, catch or neutralize to approach the titan whole fish. Okay. Sea monkeys. Investigate with caution. They're kind of cute. They're, they're pretty cute little guys. Two finger-like appendages on each forearm are tipped with suction pads for basic object manipulation. Its large turquoise chest is made of rigid bone and is possibly used as a ram, although it's not been observed. Hey, Lou, thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, uh, this game must be after the end of the first game since the planetary defense cannon was still active until it was disabled before you could leave this planet. That's that's a good point because we got shot down. It's a good point. Lou, I am so excited for your uh, affiliate stream. It's going to be... It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be really fun. Sea monkeys nest in large bowl-like structures made of packs, packed sediment and plant matter. Sea monkeys use their whole their their wide flat tails to pack the material and form the structure of the nest. Sea monkeys are naturally curious creatures and often drawn to metallic materials, which they ga uh, gather to reinforce the sides of their nests. You've got your sub loyalty badges uploaded. Nice. Resubmitted the Shrek toot. Made a channel trailer. You're on top of it. Oh man, I don't have any like any of the custom like uh, sub badges or anything like that. I'll I'll get there eventually. But right now I'm like I have emotes. That's important. That's the important part. <laughs> we'll go from there. I haven't. I've been thinking about like what my sub badge should be, and and it would have to be like bird related or something, and like. The best I can come up with is, like, an egg, and then you have, like, a chick, and then you have, like, an adult bird. But I also... I don't know. That could be kind of boring, maybe? I don't know. The bladderfish. Oxygen may be retrieved. Some of these I'm going to scan, and then if I need to, I'll go back. But Different colored feathers. That'd be cool. I like that a lot. Edible. 
Edible. Exploitable. Creep vine. Edible construction applications. Oh. Oh, I guess so the the little bar that's in the inventory that always refers to if it's edible and like the if it's if it's perished. That's cool. Allie, hello. Construction sulfur plant. Oh, yep. Oh my god, I scanned so many things. How are we liking the new Subnautica? I really like it so far. I'm still feeling it out. So far, what I've seen has looked amazing. It's a very gorgeous game. Beacon manager. Shit, we're gonna go there. Altera, beacon signature detected. Unique identifier, Delta Station Dock. Let me check really quick just to make sure there weren't any other... I think these were all... The mineral detector. Yeah, we, we get that. And we can finally get our sea truck! I shouldn't say finally. We just started the game. We can now get a sea truck. But I need the motor vehicle bay in order to make it. We can add modules. Additional cargo. Speed variable depending on cargo. Oh, that's interesting. 150 meters cruise depth. Okay. One plus. <laughs> One plus persons. Four module upgrades. Okay. Cool. I want it. Also, Sea Truck, I just think is a very funny name. Like, compared to Sea Moth. Like, Sea Moth was cool. Sea Truck, I'm like, a truck? Survival. Checklist. Arctic survival. Uh, welcome to adventure mode. Uh, you've arrived in an Arctic climate. Your great expedition begins. Your Xenowork PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs. Since you have downloaded the Arctic survival uh, Alamanic, I will also dispense advice from time to time. For the benefit of future adventurers, your device will also record observations and findings you make. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. When in doubt, don't go out! High winds can result in rapid onset hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. Uh, if wearing a standard-issued AEP suit, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. Unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and a toasty hot beverage if possible. We can't say this enough. Layers. Uh, investing in a quality cold suit is certainly is certain to pay uh, dividends in warmth and safety. Cool. Delta That's Station. good to know. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Let's get some food first. I know I've, I've got a little water, but I want to get a little bit more food and then we'll go to that docking station. I can already tell you guys it's going to be really hard to uh, turn off the stream and not keep playing the game. I'm probably going to be streaming a lot over the next couple of weeks while I'm playing this. Um, are we on a different uh, are we on a different place this time? What's the story? So we're on the same planet and this is taking place um, before the uh Aurora was uh, before the the timeline of the first game. So so far we're looking for our sister who is missing. Um, come on, I need a little I need a peeper or a bladder fish. Here we go. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Ah, got him. All right. 
Come here. No way after. This is after the first game? I'm confused because our ship got shot down by the, um, by the laser, didn't it? And you know what? We'll figure it out. We'll get there. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. The game will make itself apparent in time. We have some logs about, um, the Aurora in, uh, in the logs. Hey, uh, Allie, do you mind uh, taking care of that? Thank you. Appreciate it. Crash in a meteor storm. Wait, no, yeah, let me unban them. I want to be famous. No, I, I actually don't. That is, that is a big no. One of my biggest, like, concerns about beginning streaming was I I didn't I don't like having everything I do like scrutinized and out there forever but like I mean that's just what streaming is and I want to I, I like playing games and chatting with people um but the idea like I watched the uh Britney Spears documentary um which I've heard is controversial uh it's like not a good uh, representation or like she doesn't approve of it or something like that um, if any amount of what was in that documentary was true I feel horrible for her and being like the guinea pig for sorting out laws for public figures ugh Sounds terrible. <laughs> I heard something funny. Like, I, I thought that the cat was, like, knocking on the door. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. And, uh, I looked over and Harvey just, like, fell over. He's just... Oh my god, both cats are just... Okay, both cats are just, like, hanging out by the door. I thought that they were going to start playing and I was going to turn the camera, but they just... They're just sitting there. I'll let them out in a minute. This sun, this, this light. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. What? What are you? A rock puncher? You're so cool! Ah! Oh god! Please don't hurt me. I'm getting out of here. Okay. Alright. We're up here. Edit beacon name. Okay. I'm gonna let the kitty cats out. One moment, please. Okay, I left the I left the door cracked so they can come back if they want. You picked up barbecue and they didn't give you sauce? Allie, what? That's the best part. I'm so sorry. I'm God. I mean, I guess I'd prefer to have the meat than only sauce, but still. No utensils? Oh my god. They'll punch me in the rock. Yeah. Um, the leave Britney Spear- leave Britney alone guy might have had it right. He really did. Like, she was getting harassed constantly by um, paparazzi and the media and everything to the point that, like, 
you know, she had that breakdown, which I kind of struggle to see as a breakdown. Like, she decided to shave her head because she, like, I don't, I don't know why she did it. I, I don't want to project, but, um, uh, she shaves her head and then she attacks a, uh, paparazzi's car with an umbrella. Like, that, that doesn't seem like a, a huge issue to me. I don't know. Um, uh, dry ribs are on a whole other level. That's true. That's true. To clarify, from what we know from this game so far, Altera apparently came back to this planet for some reason after the first game, and the protagonist's sister, Sam, worked with worked with them here, and she might have died after finding something the company didn't want to get out. Yeah, we're still kind of piecing it together. Walter, thank you so much for the follow. Um, yeah, yeah, we're here looking for our sister. Altera is the name of the company that's in charge. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. I think we're starting to get cold. Oh yeah, I can see the edges. Please warm me. I want to look around more, but I'm nervous about doing it at night. I'm starting to wonder if I should, like, come back. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. What are you talking about? I'm here looking for somebody. Oh, I just noticed the, uh, the thermal meter. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no hints. No hints on this. A, a little bit like if, if there's, um... A little bit of like discussion about like something that's like you know currently happening like about the uh the timeline of this game that's that's totally fine but otherwise we're gonna do no hints because i want to experience this gameplay uh as naturally as i can yeah, these little heater plants i like them Shrub nut. <laughs> I'm five. Huh. It's kind of cool. Adding a temperature as, like, a new thing I need to worry about in this game is, uh, so these, yeah, these are what, 
Fill me up. Yeah. Please warm me. <laughs> I love them. I love these little radiator flowers. I'm glad that they have a purpose, too. I, I have no idea where we're going, but... We're going up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Not me, yeah. The, um... It wasn't, like, ever really an issue unless you, like, jumped into... Or we're near lava or whatever. Or, like, the thermal area. We're just gonna keep going up. Just keep going upward. I'm getting cold, though. Was there a, uh... Before I keep going... find the closest flower and then we'll keep going up. All right. Got to get going. Got to set up for D&D. I'm glad I got to ho hop on your stream. I'm glad you got to hop in. It's been nice uh nice to see you. I know cuz you've been so been so busy lately with your move. Have a uh great D&D &D session. I hope it's awesome. What's all this then? Emmanuel's special request. Emmanuel gave me this jailbroken scanner tool. Thing said, I need more shower heads. This should lead uh, you to the necessary materials. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what, uh, what a master's certification in applied geology gets you these days. A job is a glorified construction worker. Uh, I should have studied more interstellar law, like dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but does a great job of zeroing in on specific materials. It's better than uh, hoping I stumble across the right outcroppings. I mean, we already have one of these, but... You're writing some D and D stuff now, Mongoose. That's cool. Ah! Ah! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. That was a heavily modified bronze suit. Wow, yeah. The exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Yeah, that's... Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yeah, she didn't kill me, so I guess she's friendly. Um... Can I crouch? Is there a crouch button? Oh, I can just open it. But I also need to get warm. I'm gonna find that first. Let's find some warmth. What? This is so fucking cool, you guys. I'm gonna come back to all of this. I'm coming back to all this. I oh, wait. I got warm. How did I get warm? What warmed me? Oh, it's... S somehow, it's warm in here. 
even though there's snow everywhere. <laughs> like an igloo yeah might be wall shelf i'm like never gonna use half these things i'm scanning but i just want to scan everything the chairs are actually useful because time doesn't move when you're in the chair so if you're ever doing like a lot of reading it's great to sit at the chair oh here's the jukebox locker I guess I never scanned the fabricator. New blueprints. Really quick, I'm gonna close my window. Okay. Just being around coffee machine warms you up. It warms me up. Warms up my heart. Yeah, you uh, you mentioned the jukebox earlier. Said there was a song on it that you liked, something like that. Damage modification station. This is uh, oh, we don't have this at all yet, actually. Got a bed. Communications tower maintenance log. Another day. I'm taking it. Another slight by the wind. I'm taking it. I'm taking it all. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Definitely taking that. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is... Something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny. And Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry. I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> a map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. I love it. That's so funny. Do we know what happened to these people? I don't think so. Not yet. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice, 
Keep up the good work. And I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Sam really got under management's skin. I didn't know she had it in her. I want to take this. <laughs> Alright, let's see this last one. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Breaking up with his girlfriend or wife. Mm -hmm. Two active life life forms detected. Unauthorized habit uh, habitat construction and vehicle activity detected. Recommended observe and prepare for possible intervention. The last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Oh, no. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> Just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Oh, we got another one over here. Oh. Got the map. Map. There we go. That's cool. Gotta figure out where we are. Delta Station. Which one is which? Classified. This is cool. We didn't get a map for the first game at all. His personality is a long string of letters and numbers. Yeah, I was like, there's no information here. New employee training is recommended that all training be completed while the tower is in test mode. Test mode is fully functional, simulated version of live mode. While the test, while in test mode, all communications from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions, will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostics port, as depicted in the diagram to the left. The active test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. So we have to find that. Tech. I mean, I'd assume so. If we want to get any signals. Or out of test mode. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. 
I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. So we might not have to do anything. It might be fine. Sorry. That's funny that we can pick up snow. Delta station, all right. Yeah, that's what I, th what I thought. But we don't know which one. Builder fragment, yes. This is really nice of the game to give us a really good chunk of all of the things that we need to build a base right at the start. Bioreactor, I don't even remember picking that up. Battery charger? Did I pick up like a chunk of stuff and not realizing it? Gold. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the snow does. I assume I'll need it to craft at some point, maybe. Inventory full. Do I need all this? I don't. I don't need the. Uh... I guess I don't really need these either. Nope. Cannot. Cannot eat the snow. Oh my god, there's so much gold here. I, I feel like we're gonna need it, but I, I don't need all of it. Come on, click. Alright, I'll take one more gold. What is? What are you? Are you beacon? I want to check if controls keyboard. Is there a crouch? I want to know if there's crouch. Guess not. That's where we came from. Ooh, I got rewarded. Inventory still full. Alright. Don't need the titanium. I will want the water and stuff. Yeah, it was um you get more variation out of any one material. So I know we're going to want to go there, but I think we want to go back to the our shelter. guys. I can't get over how cute they are. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. 
Cool. Noted. Uh, we already have the... Yeah. Can I swim through here, please? Don't burn me. Yeah, they're... they're... penguins. I know! They're so cute, not me! I love them! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I love this area. This I just am so excited to have um, a sea trunk and be able to go down there. Giant mouthful of teeth and it's cute. Have you met my cat? <laughs> I'll hold one up. Ellie bites me all the time. She's adorable. I just noticed this. I didn't even- I didn't even- Oh, you guys can't see it. Hold shit, hold shit, hold on. Hold on. Look at this! Look at that! In the corner! It's got the little data, like, the list of everything that we need. I'll leave my camera over on that side. That's super convenient. If you, um, if you pin something, It'll list the stuff you need. I am not observant, in case you guys hadn't noticed. Um. Get all this stuff in there. Yeah. Alright. Habitat builder, I need it. Alright, so we're gonna need a computer chip. We should have everything we need to do a bunch of this. The table coral is outside. The first game did not do that. You had to constantly open your inventory. Um, so you know what? Let's actually let's let's utilize this new feature. Let's pin. We'll unpin, because we don't have the the repair tool yet. We'll keep that pinned. Um, a thermo blade. Hell yeah, let's make that. So many things we can make. I really like that they chose to do that. That they chose to, um... Oh wait, I can't do it because I don't have a modification station yet. Boo. To give us all these all these things right at the start of the game was very smart. Extensive crafting that doesn't let you pin recipes. Yeah. Open. Table coral. I guess I should kind of pin some of these things. I have to- I have to re-remember some of these things. Um, insulated storage receptacle for beverages. Huh. That's interesting. So we needed the computer chip. And we need- this should just be silver, right? Yeah, that's just silver. I guess I'll pin it so that I remember to get silver, but I haven't found any yet. So I guess I can't do as many of these things as I want to. We can at least make a couple of things. Uh, I, I keep getting mixed up. I keep going to the wrong one. Uh, gold. We'll take some gold. We'll make a computer chip. Cool. And we can do the repair tool. 
Not that we need it yet, but we might as well make it. Rubber, sulfur, and titanium. Had so much anxiety about wasting batteries before finding the charger in the first game. Oh my gosh, yes. No kidding. I just like was, I was just making dozens of batteries. <laughs> you could use empty batteries to make power cells. I did that too, for sure. All right, cool. So we've got the repair tool. Go ahead. I guess I'll keep this pin because I know then I'll remember that we need to look for that specifically. Um, and that. Cool. That's such a good reminder. I love that. Still don't know what to do with the snow. I have all my posters. Open storage, come on. I might as well eat this food that I have. All right. And now, power 2%. Okay. Maybe I do need a new battery. Which I have on me, actually. I guess I'll hold on to it. And let's... Hell, let's go. I really want to find the last motor vehicle bay, though, so that we can build our build our first cruise ship. Hey, there it is. Hell yeah. All right. Perfect. Oh, let's just go back. Let's just go straight back. We're gonna make our new ship, and then... Um... Uh, yeah. Then we'll go to that last known location. Come, come here! Come here! They're, like, so reluctant to let me eat them. over here. to make the motor vehicle bay. Woof, all right. Let's pin it. Love to see it. Do I need the habitat? It shouldn't be the habitat builder. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, titanium ingot. It's only five instead of 10. That's really nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was 10 in the first game, and it was a pain in the butt. Um, so we need that. We need a com another computer chip. And oil. Do I have stuff that I can make oil from? I don't think I do. Power cell. 
So we need the creep vine cluster. We need the table coral. And then gold and copper wire. Which again, we should have everything we need for that. Sweet. Very nice, very nice. All right. Where was the, where were the closest creep vine? It'd be nice to get that locked into my memory. So it wasn't far. Let's just go this way. There's some. seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, it's fine. Oxygen. Making a couple because they take up so much inventory space, and I'm definitely going to need more of it eventually. Okay. Yeah! Motor vehicle bay! Fantastic. We'll unpin that. Oh shit, we don't have... I thought that we had everything we needed for it. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We saved work from later. Um, save work for later. And we'll just go ahead and throw this in for... Alright. Place for our car. Yeah, I guess we... I thought that we had all the parts for the... Um, for the sea truck. That's fine. Yeah, that'll do. I guess I'll get a peeper, and we'll eat that, and then we'll go. Or one of these guys will work. Come here. Just have a snack. Alright, cool. Let's do it. We'll go to the pilot's last known location. We'll keep an eye out for any sea truck fragments on the way. That looks like a PDA. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, 
Not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so we can't make this yet because we don't have lead or the wiring kits. So, um, well, I'm psyched that we found it. We're gonna go with our original plan. Seems like an asshole. He has a nice voice. He does have a nice voice. Is that thunder lightning? Oh, that's cool rock. Yeah, I'm curious to see where this goes with all the characters. Oh, I love looking around. I'm gonna get too distracted though. I need to just keep going. I don't like the sound of that. I hope it's just whatever that is, which I definitely don't want to mess with it, but it doesn't look like it'll absolutely destroy me. I don't like it, though! <laughs> no, I'm not a fan. Alright, I'm getting nervous. I'm not into it. This thing is- these things are freaky. What is this? Ah! Ah! Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hey! Lithium. I don't want to die. I'm getting getting scared. This is getting spooky. Is it hailing? Oxygen. Oh my god. It's like a blizzard. Detecting stern of an astronautical salt transcove vessel nearby. Oh vessel what? Mercury 2. Inoperative. Oh, I don't like this at all. What the fuck is this thing? like a lily pad are those sharks those are just sharks I don't know if I can make it down here warning passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased Warning. Passing 200 right. meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I, I just can't go here Warning. yet. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. Oxygen. 
oxygen. Uh... Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, alright, so we can't do this part yet. I need the... What? What are you? It's like a whale. I love it. Hi. A glow whale? Hey, bud. Oh, I don't want to use up all my oxygen. Anything here I should scan? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. A glow well. Very on the nose, yeah. I love it, though. This guy I'm not so much of a fan of. Brute shark. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. I'm running out of uh, power on my on my thingamabob. Yeah, he likes the space. I want to go back a little bit, just because I don't want to, like, run out of battery on anything. I guess I can take a battery out of something else. It's not going to be the end of the world. I just want to find lead and silver. Those are the big ones. This music is nice and chill, though. I still don't like those things. The sound is a lot for me. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm a little deeper than I thought I was. Oxygen. It's interesting that we're finding lithium and things, but not some of the more common ones like silver and lead. I guess they're not as common in this game. I should use, you know what I should be using? Because I'm a dummy. Is this. So. Yeah, they, they really make things a bit easier on the player in this game, I think. Um, don't need copper. Chance of silver! There we go. There we go. I'm, figure I'm figuring the game out. I'm getting there. Kind of takes me a minute to lock all the new new things in. I'll read it, but I won't internalize it immediately. Chance of lead, awesome. All right, so much titanium. Give me silver, yes. Give me lead, yes. All right. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Silver, lead, bush. I want to scan one of those guys, but I'm I'm afraid. 
Also, I know I probably have as much as I need. I might need more lead, but I know I have enough silver. But I still... I don't want to, like, have to come back. But yeah, there's so much roaring. Not not super into it. It scares me. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Dislike that sound as well. What's this? Oh. Oh, we're back here. That's really good to know that where this is in terms of uh if I need directions to get back here at some point. I can use that beacon. Uh, Allie, you're jumping off, but have a great rest of my stream. Thank you. Have a great rest of your night, Allie. I will catch you in a bit. Thanks for hanging out. It's always great to see you. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Where's the one that has chance of lead? There it is. Anything? Anything? Searching? It's- I mean, I saw it. <laughs> that wasn't super helpful. It needs like an increased range or something. How much lead do I have? I've got three. I definitely want a couple more. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh. Don't- don't come for me. Don't worry about me. Yeah, just leave me alone. Everything's fine. Um... I dislike that. That is not cool. It's fine. Silver. Get your plant. Oh, the whale. I love it. Warning. 30 seconds yeah. of oxygen remaining. Ooh. All these noises are driving me crazy. Driving me bananas. Um. Alright. Let's look one more time. I get so disoriented so quickly. Anything, anything, anything? This is kind of cool. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
All right. Well, I guess we can come back out if we uh, if we need to. I kind of want to get back. I really want to build that ship. Oh, here's one. Oxygen. All right. All right. Damn it. All right. Well, we got one more. Away we go. Gotta get some more batteries, too. Guess I'll keep an eye out for any battery plants. No, seriously. Breathing is not optional. <laughs> It must get so frustrated, like, constantly reminding me to breathe. It's like, can you just... just take care of that? Come on. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Is that a beacon? Or sea glide? Yeah. Made it back. Survival rate would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. You don't say. All right, so let's get our glass. And we'll make, let's do a couple of these for storage. Ooh. We don't need that yet, but we will eventually. Um, we'll make our wiring kit. Which we need two of. So we can start building a habitat. Oh, we need an advanced wiring kit. I see. We need the computer chip, table coral, gold. Oh, we don't have any more table coral, though. We've got gold. Um, we'll, so we'll keep the stuff that we need in our inventory, but we'll put some of this back. Okay. Let's go grab some table coral really fast. I'm pretty sure this way, underneath this big piece of ice. Maybe. Oh, this is cool. What's what are you? You're a sunfish? Titan hole fish, what a name. Ow! Fucking I'm a jerk. I keep leaning forward. I need to just sit back, relax. What are these? I missed a lot of these. I really need more batteries, too. Alright. Table coral, please. Any down here? Uh, 
That's some fun music coming in. What is that? Oh, it was something that the thing picked up. wasn't any. Alright, alright. Is that an egg? I just want table coral! It's so much harder to find now. It used to just be everywhere. Vital signs stabilizing. Mongus, you're stepping off to do dinner things? Uh, yeah. Enjoy your food. I will certainly enjoy the rest of my stream. Thank you very much. I'll catch you later. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. some table coral. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Man, at the rate that I'm going through batteries, I'm gonna have to, like just uh, be really conservative I think with when I'm using my oh that's dead I also need it for the light Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. We'll come get that group of them and then we'll come back. Uh, go back. big chunks of them. I mean, that's enough for now. That's fine. Where is our habitat? Alright. Soon we're gonna be able to build an actual base, which I think should be over here because there's so much stuff. So, I, I should make a compass, too. I don't know if I have a pl the, the like plan for that. We'll see. Sometimes it's not that late. I'm getting a little hungry though.
So we make our computer chip. We need the copper wire and the gold. Compressed nutrient blocks, yeah. What's for dinner? I've got some leftovers. Um, I have some steak and potatoes that has been, that I kind of forgot about. I made it a couple days ago, but I think it's still fine. I smelled it and it smells fine. So I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, gonna roll with it. If I don't show up to work tomorrow, that's why. Um, I didn't realize I went through all of the copper. So we're gonna have to go get a couple pieces of copper. Welcome to Subnautica. It's constant fetch quests. If you don't like fetch quests, you won't like Subnautica. I'm also looking for battery things, so I know I'm going past some stuff. Tins of lead. Warning. Roll a d20 for a food safety check. Yeah, that's... I mean, it smells fine. Uh, on, it's only been in the, in the fridge for two days. It's definitely fine. I'm just exaggerating. I've been cooking a lot recently. Um, and so it's like one meal is kind of just like morphing into the next. And I kind of forget what order I made stuff in sometimes. Just reheat it properly. Yeah, I'll be fine. Copper. Ooh, more table coral. PDA. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with a manual. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. You made two pounds of chicken in the slow cooker? Oh, that sounds excellent. I need to use uh, crock pots and things more. What's this? Oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm not going to pick it up. Inventory full. This is fine. Don't, don't, oh, do you have to? <sighs> I'll Warning. go Five back up, I'll heal, I'll remaining. drop the stuff I don't need, and then I'll go back down. That actually did a fair amount of damage. These are what I want. I'll come back to this. Alright, perfect. I think that's everything I need. We don't need that. We are going this way. Warning. 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Throwing random things into a slow cooker and then forgetting about it. You can't mess it up. Yeah, I've made stew and stuff before, but it was a long time ago. Um, the other thing that I've made, um, which is a little bit less, I guess, common than like just making dinner, is I've made apple butter after going like apple picking. Just cutting up like 15 apples, um, dicing them and throwing them in for like 12 hours. Uh, with some, actually, you don't even really need to add anything because they just condense down on their own. You don't have to add sugar or anything. You can add sugar and spices. Uh, and then you just get this, like, thro throw it in, like, a food processor or a blender afterwards, and you get this paste that you can just spread on whatever. It's so good. Cool. And then what do we need for the power cell? Two dead batteries. Coming right up. Great. And silicone rubber. And some lead. I think it said two. I'm gonna grab four just in case. <laughs> Three. All right. That's how I play this game. I might just like overcompensate on the number of materials that I need constantly. I think it's better than not. Yes! We got it! Achievement unlocked. Truckin'. It looks so small and silly looking. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a ship. How do we get in? Yes! Very exciting. Very much, very much into it. Um, the other thing that I think we can make now, do we have any more copper? Oh, we're short one copper, all right. If we get one more copper, we can make an, another computer chip so that we can get the habitation, ha habitat builder. Then we can start base building. So that's our one copper. We don't need any more. I like its little icon. Copperware. Perfect. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. We can unpin all this. Spiraling plant chipping. Spiral plant chippings. That's cool. Next we have to find the modification station. Or... No, we, we just need diamond. Okay. Very cool. Alright. So next is gonna be beginning to make a base. So we can get our scanner room. 
We can get some food growing. We can go back to that island and grab one of those seeds and plant it. Um, With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. <laughs> I also want to make a couple batteries, and we need more copper for that. So, we're gonna look. I want to use this scanner tool, like I know it doesn't have a battery in it right now, but like I'm tempted to use it, but it, it has such a short range that it seems like just looking around is quicker rather than like sta staring at the scanner tool. What's that? Oh. Don't need it. Oxygen. I also very much need a compass. I never know which way I'm going. There's like places I want to go back to and I just like can't quite find them. one. We want at least three, I think. Don't need the grab trap. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This is the area that I always want to be at. I just always want to be here. There's just so much here. Stop with the titanium, would you? I guess I also could have taken my uh, my new my new vehicle, but uh, warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Don't want to waste the battery on that either. It's harder to replace a power cell until we got a. Uh, Have I been here? I don't think so. There it goes. Oh, look at all these batteries. Exterior grow bed, this is what I need. How much copper do I have? Four. Damn it. Good. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yep, yep, yep.
definitely gonna want to come back here because this is sweet that's also good to know that we can plant these yeah all right copper Perfect. All right, back we go. I wanted enough copper to replace the batteries in everything plus one or two. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So I'll drink some of this water. Oh, I can't wait to get the battery charger. I need it. Oh, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna put a battery in that because I barely use it. Does anything else need a battery? Just the sea glide. I mean, I guess I'll keep this with me. And I guess I'll put a battery in it. It can at least hold one. Make a couple extra. Make sure we've we won't get stranded. All right, cool. So, I think this was a lot of progress. We got our sea trunk. And I really want to use it to go diving deeper. I'm also pretty hungry. Um, and I want to grab some dinner. So th that'll probably be a good uh, place to leave off for tonight. And maybe I'll come back to it tomorrow if I'm not too tired after Monday. After the case of the Mondays. And... Let me... Orc, thank you so much for that raid. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Not me. Thank you. Um, Mongoose, you went, you went to eat dinner, but thank you. I, uh, and uh, Walter, thanks for the follow earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm really into this game. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to, to learn more about it and straighten up the, the, <laughs> the connections between this game and the first game. Um, I think I've got it sorted now, but it's... There's, like, some logs from the first game that I should brush up on a little bit, maybe. But, yeah. Let's see who we can raid. Let's see who's that. 